Almost half of all red-tailed hawks do not have red tails. One of the most common and widespread hawks has also been called the most misidentified bird in North America. You probably know the adult red-tailed hawk. You see it sitting on roadside power poles. You see it circling high overhead in open country. Red-tailed hawks are found in a wide variety of open habitats with big trees to nest in. Woodlands, grasslands, deserts, coastlines, agricultural, and even urban areas. You can see them from your yard, from Alaska to Florida, from northern Canada south to Panama and the West Indies. In this video, I explain the identification of red-tailed hawks. I tell you exactly what to look for in separating confusing red tails from other hawks. I'm concentrating on what red-tailed hawks look like and how other hawks differ, but I'm not going deep into the plumages of other hawks. First though, why do some people have trouble identifying red-tailed hawks? Two things make the identification of red-tailed hawks confusing. The first is that the namesake red tail does not become present until the bird is about 16 months old, in its second fall. So early in fall, when many birds arrive from the north, almost half of all red-tailed hawks do not have red tails. Thus, many people misidentify this most common of the large Buteo hawks as some other species. The second cause of confusion is that red-tailed hawks vary in their plumage across their range. In addition, they also have several different color variations. Some birds are all dark. Some birds are intermediate and rusty on the chest. Other birds are very pale. Some regional plumage variations even have their own names. All red-tailed hawks, no matter their plumage, have the same basic size and shape. Learn the shape of the red tail and you'll more quickly identify those roadside hawks and spot something different. You won't have to make as many U-turns, backups on the shoulder of the road, or twists of your neck around in the passenger seat. These birds are among the larger and bulkier of the hawks. When perched, they show broad shoulders, big bill, and big feet. The wingtips barely reach the tail tip. In flight, the wings are broad and rounded. The tail is short and wide. In comparison, red-shouldered and broad-winged hawks are smaller, with smaller bills and feet and short wings. Swainsons and northern rough-legged hawks have longer, thinner wings and small bill and feet. Phrygenous hawks are shaped like red tails, but have narrow pointed primaries in flight. They have feathered legs when perched. Now let's go ahead and look at the plumage of the light morph red-tailed hawk. This is by far the most common plumage. Nearly all the birds in the east and southwest are this light morph, and most of the western birds are too. Perched, the front of light morph red-tailed hawks show a white chest that contrasts with streaks on the belly and a dark head. Eastern birds have a white throat. Southwestern birds tend to have faint or absent belly band. This bold white chest really stands out on most birds. Perched, the back of red-tailed hawks show dense white spotting on the scapulars. All immature color morphs of red-tailed hawks show this scapular spotting. Adults of the light phase show it, but it is less visible on adult dark morph birds. From behind, the red tail of adults is obvious, but immature birds have numerous black bars across a pale brown tail. The key identification feature of red-tailed hawks in flight is a dark patagial bar on the leading edge of the underwing, from the wrist to the shoulder. From below, the white chest and contrasting dark belly band is obvious. The underwing flight feathers of juveniles, birds in their first summer and fall, are quite pale, with only black tips on the outer primary feathers. Adults often show a thin, dark margin along the trailing edge of the wing. Of course, if the bird is an adult, the red tail will also clinch the ID. You can see the upper wing when a flying bird circles around on a thermal. Adults have all brown upper wings, darker in the west. Juveniles have pale outer wings, formed from black and white barring on the inner primaries. 
About 10 to 20 percent of western red-tailed hawks are dark morph and all black, or intermediate morph that are black with a red chest. Adults have a deep, rusty tail. These birds are best told from other dark morph hawks by shape. Dark morphs are found in Swainson's, Ferruginous, Rough-Legged, and Broad-Winged hawks. The juvenile dark morph Ferruginous hawk is most similar to juvenile red-tailed hawk. In flight, dark morph Ferruginous hawks have very white flight feathers, the primaries, secondaries, and tail feathers and the outer wing is more pointed than broad. Dark and intermediate morph Swainson's hawks have white under tail coverts. Remember, they are all dark in dark and intermediate morph red tails. Some Swainson's can show a bit of white scapular spotting. Dark morph rough-legged hawks have white tails with a dark or dusky subterminal band. Dark morph broadwing hawks are much smaller birds they have short wings and long tail when perched and rather more pointed wings in flight. A form of red-tailed hawk that breeds in Alaska and winters in the Kansas-Oklahoma area and rarely westward is called Harlan's hawk. It occurs mostly as a dark morph. Its wings are shorter than the tail when perched. The tail is gray with black bands in juveniles and the scapular spotting is extensive. Adults have rather white tails with dusky tip without any red. Kreider's red-tailed hawk is a very pale bird. It barely shows the dark patagial bars and may not have any belly streaks. The head is mostly white. The tail is mostly white with pale orange tip in the adult. It is found in the prairie regions of Canada and north central United States. Summarizing, stocky body, broad round wings, short broad tail. Bold white chest and streaked belly. Obvious scapular spotting. Thin dark trailing edge to the wing. Barred tail as immature, rusty tail as adult. You can go right out and study these birds today or tomorrow. If you do, let me know what you find. Here are two other identification videos I think you may enjoy.